Salas, good to see you. Welcome. Thank you for joining my channel. But anyway, if you haven't joined, subscribe and like. I sure would appreciate it. Today, if you don't already know, I'm Allison Reese and my husband Mike and I are big into thrifting. Now, he had the bug first for many years and then he got me into it and we do it as a regular routine in our life. We love thrifting. Antique shops, consignment shops, Goodwills, other thrift stores. We have several in our area. So um, estate sales, yard sales, we love it all. I love it because, you know, when you go to the store, you see the same stuff over and over. The neat thing about thrifting is it always changes. Like we have a Habitat for Humanity resale store, which I'm sure you do too. Oh, every week is amazing. I still am, I, I never stop from being amazed what comes in that store. It's just incredible. So I want to show you some things that um, I particularly like. Now, I don't know if you're like me. I'm a coffee drinker, love coffee, and I love coffee mugs. <laughs> I've kind of gotten a little addicted to coffee mugs. There is something about um, having that special mug that fits your hand and just, I don't know why, but are you like me? I wake up in the morning, I look forward to my coffee. I mean, I go to sleep going, the coffee's waiting for me in the morning. <laughs> I've got a reason to rise and shine. And I love just reg then just an ordinary cup. I love picking my cup for the day. I know that's weird. <laughs> Maybe you're like me. I don't know. But I have this coffee mug addiction. I want to show you what I recently purchased. Um, the first cup that I have here is called Tuscan Flower. And this is the print. Oh my word. Is that not beautiful or what? I love these tall mugs because... Um, there's the name of it, Tuscan Flower. I'm sure it's probably backwards. There's the back. The back is the same as the front. Um, yell trim. I like these because I generally drink oh, one and a half regular cups, uh, mugs of um, coffee. This will hold like two or one and a half, depending on how you pour. And so if I fill this up to the brim... I'm good for the day. That's how much I drink. If I go to a regular mug, let's say this size, I got to have one of these plus another half of that or two. If I fill this up, I don't have to go back. <laughs> so I really love it. Isn't it beautiful? Oh, the colors. I love this one. I just think it's gorgeous. I have to decide whether I'm going to resell this one or not and put it on our, um, my husband's Mike, Mike and Allie Hall, Mike and Allie's Hall, y'all. So that's our store on eBay. He starts selling, um, trains. He likes vintage things. He really does. And I do too, but I like new things like you know, coffee mugs. So we just put on there what our aesthetic is, what we like. Maybe you like it too. But anyway, um, he has trains on there. He's a model railroader. He, by trade, um, he went to school for uh, radio broadcasting, was in radio. And now he is a audio book voiceover person. And uh, he still loves anything to do with radio, radios, antique radios, music. He has a huge vinyl collection. And so things he has extras of, he finds, he lists them on there on his, on our eBay store. Um, so he's just sold some great pieces of model trains and they've done well. So he's really into that. But anyway, uh, I decided I was going to add some things to the store that Allie likes, but anyway, so, <laughs> you love my cup. Oh, by the way, this is my Anne Klein animal print scarf. Yes, I don't have the tall skinny neck, but I don't care, and it pretty? It's a very dainty print, so you don't feel like you're overwhelmed. Love this. I have my Coldwater Creek shirt on, buttoned down. No iron. It comes out. It looks like it's starched. 
and I love this. I don't normally wear green, um, but for fall, I like it. It In this one, the fabric is so crisp. I love a crisp button-down shirt. Um, you can't see it, I'm sure, but as this fabric hits the light, moves and hits the light, the green changes. Um, it has kind of a, I don't know, maybe a bluish cast to it, but it changes colors, which is kind of cool. I have another cold water creek shirt that I found at thrift store. No iron. Oh, it's a little longer. Some are shorter, some are longer. They are fitted. And it has the double pockets up here on the chest. I love that. I love that. I, I wish they would put the pockets back on them. I don't know. They just add something to me. So, uh, cold water creek shirts. The older models, I really do like them. Okay, we'll move on to my coffee collection. I think this would be cute for a child that's really into Shopkins. This is a little Shopkins cup. I think this is adorable. So I'm putting this on eBay. You know, if you have a grandchild or child that's into that, that would be fun to give them to go with their stuff. Also, if you're a Star Wars fan like I am, here's a Troop Life cup with the, um, yeah, what do they call that? I forgot what it's called. This is Zach Designs. We have this listed. Love this cup. Star Wars. Stormtrooper. Cute, cute, cute. Also, I found a Starbucks cup. This is one of their holiday collections from one of their holiday collections. This is a great cup too. Um, trying to see if it says what year it is, but it doesn't on here. But anyway, so this is Starbucks. Love, love. I, I think that's adorable. Kind of Americana, gingerbread look to it. Cup. I think that would be nice to serve like um, the holidays with, you know, if you're having a pie or dessert and have a set of those. But anyway, I like having a variety of cups because I do like two people being able to get the cup that they want, my guest, and then they remember, oh, I'm the Star Wars or I'm the Starbucks or, you know, <laughs> it's a good way to remember which is yours. I found a Dunkin' Donuts cup. Love this one. Running on Duncan. <laughs> this is a great height. This is a, you know, what I like. Dun, dun, dun. I'm probably keeping that one. This is a keeper. Also, I thought this was neat. I love the colors. This is a Swiss Miss cup. It says, um, wrap yourself in chocolate. I love that blue, that medium blue in the brown. But it is a Swiss Miss cup. But I love this cup. It's not um, like a soup bowl cup. Smaller. I'll give you a comparison. It looks that way. It looks like a huge soup cup, doesn't it? Mug. I just think that's cool. Someone that you know that loves chocolate. Oh my word. Chocolate lovers. That would be for you. What am I going to show you next, girlfriend? Okay, here is a set that I picked up. Well, two. Not really a set. Oh, these are beautiful. See, this is... Um, let's go this way. Let's freak out the camera. Sunset Beach, North Carolina. Green. These have a... They're ceramic, but they have a pottery look to them. There's nothing on the back. They're plain. There's the inside. It's black bottoms but i wanted to tell you about this is a little bit you can feel a little texture here i just think these are gorgeous and that is supposed to be in that is uh not a defect that is part of the pottery details the modeling now this is a beautiful blue and this one is a gorgeous green. Oh, my word. These are beautiful. Um, I started to keep these for myself. Let me tell you why. 
I used to live at Sunset Beach, North Carolina. And if you'd like to know about Sunset Beach, those of you that don't know about Sunset Beach, Sunset Beach is the last beach on the coast of North Carolina before you hit the South Carolina line. Now, also, Sunset Beach, North Carolina, you know, jets out. Now, Sunset Beach cuts in before it hits South Carolina. So it goes, here's the coast, the other side's the Atlantic Ocean, land, goes straight out to a point, then cuts in. The part that cuts in, there's the last beach that is Sunset Beach. Because it cuts in and doesn't really just face due east to the Atlantic Beach, Atlantic Ocean, they call it sunset because sun rises on one side of the island and sets on the other side. So it's kind of like it runs left and right, like east to west. And it's protected that way. And um, it's beautiful because you can have that sense of seeing the sun rise and seeing the sun set. Um, it's a very much of a family beach, the old beach cottage style with some new homes, of course. You can bicycle there on that island. It's a wide beach. It's beautiful. It's very tranquil. And it has the canal homes. The intercoastal waterway goes through there. Also, if you go out to the end of the island, there's Bird Sanctuary. And that is a good walk, but it's doable. I've done it before. And then you'll see out that direction, there used to be a post. I don't know if it's still there. I'm assuming it is. There was always standing up out of one of the dunes was a uh, mailbox. And it was called Kindred Spirit. And they would leave, somebody would leave a notebook and pen in there. And you could write to Dear Kindred Spirit. And people just poured out their hearts to dear kindred spirit, and there's a book about it, things people wrote, and it's just precious as can be. So you could sit out there on that island, there at the bird sanctuary, and see the birds, very tranquil. Oh, it's gorgeous. But anyway, so if you actually vacation at Sunset Beach and you would like to have a set, I'm going to offer these on our eBay page. These are gorgeous. And they're not as tall as, give you again a comparison. This is not as tall as this, but it is a tall mug. So regular mug size, taller, medium. Okay, what else do I want to show you? If you have grandchildren, this might be something you want to consider. Let's see this Oreo bowl I found <laughs> for ice cream or cereal. What kid would not be delighted to see that? I know that they have these that comes in a set, but I got this one individually and I thought it'd be fun for some grandparent wants to get it and put ice cream or a dessert or cereal for their grandchild and they come to see them. Okay, what else do I have? I want to show you my favorite little chubby figurine bird. Is this not adorable or what? For fall? Now, I love this. This very much warm colors, warm red. You can see there's a little bit of olive here. It's medium blue, brown, it's a little tip of warm red. And then white here. His beak is tucked underneath his wing partially. But it's just so sweet. Now, he's they call them chubbies, these, this style. fits. Now, I have a large hand, but he fits pretty good in my hand. Pretty full. And this is the bottom. It is hollow and it has four felt protector pads. It sits so well. Now here's one tip when you're decorating. I always suggest, especially if you don't have pets, we don't have pets, um, but if you don't have pets, what is helpful, because I know I've experienced this, is when you decorate Put things of animals out. Like I used to have a large statue and I, felt, I wish I'd kept it. And it was an elephant. And I had it sitting on this small round kind of high table that just fit it perfectly. And I loved coming in there and seeing that elephant. I had it in my room. Um, also, 
if you just add animal prints, like, and I don't mean clothing print, I mean like pictures of animals, but figurines, sculptures, things like that, it makes you feel good when you come in and you see those things. So to me, there really is a psychological benefit to adding animal sculptures, animal pictures uh, to your home. Okay, so the other thing I want to show you that I picked up is this box. This is a wooden box. <laughs> there goes the lid. And it's a jewelry box. So it has the, you can't see it, indentations of where it's one, two, three, four indentations in the felt where you can put your rings or pins. And this is the front of it. This is the back and it has the felt protectors. And this is American Beechwood. This is made by W.B. McNabb. The other wood I've not heard of is Pudak and American Beech. So it's inlaid, that marquetry style. Oh, this, this is really nice. So I'm gonna offer that. Someone wants to put a few things in there or give it as a little gift thank you gift or something for somebody. Okay. Also, I just thought this was adorable. This sign, believe in unlimited possibilities. The print, the graphic print there's collage is pretty. Isn't that neat? The neat thing about it, you can take this apart, sits on here, and clean it. You know, you get dust in places. I always hate when you can't get where it gets dusty. But yes, don't we need to believe in unlimited possibilities? So put this on your shelf or give this to a friend. I mean, if they're going through some struggles, what a great little gift. So I'm going to put this on our eBay, in our eBay store. Uh, oh, I have one more cup I forgot. This is... Pat uh, Singer's collection of mugs, and this one is the New York The Plaza. I'm going to turn it around. Sorry for the glare. And these have pretty good resale value on them. But if you're a fan of New York and you plaza and you want to give someone a memory maker, you've been there. Hey, there you go. Pat Singer's the Plaza, New York. I love that cup. I love RC cups too and particular places that you can have for memory makers. Um, the other thing I picked up was this little, um, I like art. I love art. I'm an artist by trade and um, at Christmas time I like to put out, take some of our pictures down and then I like to put up Christmas pictures. I think it just changes the mood of the room, gets you festive, it gives you something else to see on your walls. And I found this little frame with a little print in it and it is this snowy scene in the mountains with this little like A-frame cottage in another house. You can see this. Is this adorable or what? Now, this is not like, it is just a print. And came in this little frame, and I can't even read, it looks like, well, I can't even read the artist's name on here. Anyway, is this adorable or what? So I'm gonna put this out for Christmas time. <laughs> To go with my other ones. Okay, I think that is everything. And right now what I'm using, because we're going out so much in public thrifting, I'm using doTERRA's On Guard uh, essential oil. This is their protective blend. And I diffused, we have a little diffuser for our minivan. And I put a, a few drops in the water and immediately starts diffusing. So that helps kill any germs in the air. I actually love this. It smells so fall and holiday-ish because what is in here, uh, let me give you the ingredients. This blend consists of wild orange peel, 
clove bud, clove, oh, cinnamon leaf oil, cinnamon bark, eucalyptus leaf, rosemary leaf, and mm, I love it. I would say that the predominant, sorry, I can just say, <laughs> I love essential oils and I could just sit here. Aromatherapy, right? The main thing you smell in here is the cinnamon and clove and some wild orange. It is divine. But anyway, what I do is I put a I put a drop in my hand before I go into these antique places and throw because I don't want to get sick. And it scientifically is shown where doTERRA did some research. They took a peachy drish, they put do, uh on guard on one side, left the other side free, and the germs, the viruses would not light and attach to it. So I put it on my hands and particularly my fingertips. So when I'm touching doorknobs and things and not thinking about what I'm doing, I haven't washed my hands for a while. I also have their uh, hand sanitizer. I throw that in my purse. We put this in our diffuser at home and we're using it in our diffuser in our minivan. Oh, I love it. Anyway, we go through bottles of this stuff. Love it, love it, love it. So I recommend this for fall and winter, especially if you're having guests come and you're doing a lot of shopping, Christmas shopping, and you don't want to get sick because we're breathing these things in the air. So these few drops goes through your system and it's a good protective mechanism. We'll do all we can, and it's natural. Okay, that's everything, guys. I hope you enjoyed this haul. I'm going to do some more hauls. Uh, tell me what you like and what you'd like to see. Thank you so much for following me. I hope you like my little scarf. <laughs> anyway, we do all we can at this age, right, to look cute. Y'all take care. See you soon. Bye.